Renata Sapieha, and I am the widow of Prince Lev Sapieha, uh, who was well known in the Polish community here in England. I am very proud to say that I was given as a present a little piece of the wall, because I am well aware that none of what I have done could have been done before the wall came down. In 1981, was, uh, martial law was declared and I became involved with medical aid for Poland, to, with which I am involved to a certain extent to this day. And at the time, we were, everybody was raising money to send to Poland because things were very difficult during martial law there, as you all know. My husband died in 1989, and I was rather at a loss what to do with myself. And so I did two things. I went to the local junior school, and I went to the local hospice. And I said, if you like, I'm yours one day a week. Both took up my offer, and I spent many happy years working at both the hospice and at the junior school. Father Colin and I fell in love with the children in Poland and we decided we wanted to help them, but in our way, not in the way that they wanted. And to do that, we felt that we had to be official and we became a registered charity called FLIP, Friends of the Lisiecki Homes in Poland. In due course, other orphanages got in touch with us, a Father Marek, uh, from Rumia got in touch with us, who had also got children's homes. And we helped him build a school. We helped a small group of autistic children. And the last thing we took on board was something which is still very close to my heart, and that is a reformatory for girls. I feel, holding this little bit of the Berlin Wall, that I'm holding history in my hand. And I think how the world has changed over the last hundred years, or even since I was born.